Governor Walker is calling on lawmakers for a renewed effort to combat the state's growing opioid crisis. So this is a serious problem. It's not oh, just yeah. facing Wisconsin, but it's facing the whole country here to talk a little bit about what we're going to do here specifically in Wisconsin as Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, guys. So I always, the, the, the statistic here that always strikes me about this is that more people die as a result of heroin-related deaths than traffic deaths. Yeah. I mean, when you say it in that context, it's real and it's growing. It really is, and you can combine that even now with some types of cancer, with suicides, with firearms, and so this number is growing every year, and what's unfortunate about it is there is no easy way to pinpoint the group of people who we can predict will deal with these crises because there is no demographic and there is no geographic region that is the target. We have seen this become an American epidemic. Mm -hmm. I know uh, you all were talking during the commercial break and before we, we got talking to you here about the number of prescription drugs prescribed and how that kind of leads into all of this. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Danica, the amazing thing here is that most people don't actually start with the street drug sure. heroin, right? Most people don't even start with a prescription. It ends up that about 70% of folks are actually introduced to their opiate problem or heroin problem through a family member's prescription. It could be their own. Sure. And there are instances of that, but about 80% of these addictions actually start with prescription drugs. Could be that person's, could be someone else's. We have actually seen a new stakeholder group in this crisis, realtors. You kind of wonder, well, why in the world would realtors care about something like that? You know when you have an open house today, realtors have to warn the homeowner to empty out all of their prescription drugs yeah. from their medicine cabinets because yeah. thieves are going from open house to open house to try and swipe these. So how... Um how do we combat this? I mean, what's the next step? What's being done? A whole bunch of things. Unfortunately, this is not going to be a, a one solution problem. We need a battery of solutions. And last week, John Nygren, the state representative who is well known for his hope legislation, two rounds of it because his daughter Cassie has dealt with addiction. And I traveled the state with Governor Walker. We're the co-chairs of this task force on opioid abuse. And what we did was put together a report with a huge huge number of suggestions and potential solutions that we can implement. The governor called a special session mm -hmm. so our legislators who are just sworn in can go back in session and start tackling this from day one. These solutions are everything from adding new agents at our Department of Justice to crack down on the drug traffickers to adding additional dollars for drug courts, a treatment court, a problem solving court so people won't go directly to prison Right. but instead may get treatment. On top of that, we know that folks who are dealing with addiction often deal well with counselors who have experienced some of the same things they have. One of the suggestions on our task force was from someone from the peer respite community who said, you know what we ought to do is build something kind of in the AmeriCorps style model and do a recovery core for $60,000, which is a pretty modest government investment. Yeah. You can train about 20 people and you can do a recovery course statewide. So for more information on this, folks, you have a website that's been set up. I, I know it's hope.wi.gov. I, I think the unfortunate thing, we just have a, a quick amount of time, is, is, is there's just no easy way to fix this. There's no easy way to fix this, but we have good news. Our prescription drug monitoring program through our yeah. Department of Safety and Professional Services, where our prescribers have to check in mm -hmm. and report who they're prescribing to, and also you have to check in to make sure you're not about to prescribe to someone who may be pill shopping, sure. right. has actually reduced the number of opiate prescriptions in Wisconsin 10% year to year. That's a good news. Yeah. Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, good to see you this morning. Thanks for coming good in. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks so much for coming in.